we're going to focus using our software on how to find, sort, and trade early momentum stocks. Um, the, uh, we're going to look at the four features of how we define momentum. So if we understand momentum, then we can go ahead and do a set up a screener for it, and then how is the best way to find these stocks here? Okay, so um, let's. Um, I just want to take a minute. So you, um, I've been doing webinars now for about eleven years, and I've done about four thousand webinars over those eleven years. And for me, I enjoy it, and I have some fun with it too. But we are about making money in stocks. So today. I'm going to show you a little bit about myself and the company. Uh, that will be very short. We're going to look at some of our previous trades, why we got into them, and then we're going to find trades that I would look at to get in into for today. Okay? And, and I'll show you how we'll sort and, and we'll search for them, and, and then which trades make the most sense. So uh, I believe that you can talk about anything in the past. right? But to take t today and find out what trades look good today, that, that's a different thing. And for nine years, that's what we've been doing, and that's why we've been successful. Okay? So let me just take a minute. We'll take a brief minute here. Okay. And... I'm just going to look at these photos here. Yeah, let me just reduce it out. As I organize my three screens. <laughs> and the, a couple of minutes that we'll take to go ahead and talk about Magenta. First of all, Magenta software is a web-based software. We've been web-based for about five years. What does that mean to you? It's a seasonal range trading software that the Excuse data me, is downloaded. I just want to make sure. Can you see the questions okay? Can you see the chats coming through? Yeah, I, I just saw uh, Paul just uh, left me a okay, message right, right there. Right. I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. No problem. Interrupt anytime you like. So oh, let me. Uh... Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. And so Magenta is a web-based, and what that means is that I have a central server. All the data uh, every day is downloaded onto the one server, and what you do is. Uh, you just open up the software, and a half hour after the market closes, uh, the data is there. Okay, so uh, well, let me just open up one thing. And, and it doesn't matter if you have a Mac, a PC. Um, it, it doesn't matter because it's all web-based here. And I'm finally getting things together here. And actually, I was working for another company about 11, 12 years ago. I was working for Best Choice Software. I was a, a coach, and uh, in my coaching days, I um, uh, got together a small fund. Like I said, I uh, traded it, got it together to um, a decent amount that I could go ahead and, and start doing my project and I'm going to go ahead and move on with my pictures that's okay Um, on the software, and and 
I just get a couple messages. There we go. On the software, if you want to see additional information, uh, we have videos. We do some work with some brokerage companies. Uh, I, I do have webinars that are posted. You can go to our webinar page and view some of our webinars. Uh, we do have a list of, uh, here's our calendar of our different webinars that we have posted. Um, August will be posted up here soon. So we, we do about five or six webinars each week. And then we have some that are Web 99. And these are our professional coaches as well, too. Uh, a couple other things. And then some training videos as well. Okay. Now, I'm going to try one more time. I think we're making progress now. Now, there, there's a simple picture of me. You, you're, you're not going to learn very much by a simple picture of myself. A and the reason why I'm going to go through a minute's worth of these photos, it shows you who I am and, and my route to get to my point today. So I, I did trade. I, I got a uh, my personal account when I was working at another software company. I got it up to about 100000 and that was enough for me to go over to the Philippines and uh, start my project. Uh, I was cheap for a couple of years, wrote code, and come 2011, I went out and, and released the software. A year after that, I was introduced to David Elliott. I'm not sure, he, the late David Elliott. Um, very famous, worked a lot with Toss, uh, with Thinkorswim. And he, uh, after meeting me, I was the very first person that he felt that the seasonality is worth his time. Those who know David is a very particular person with strong opinions. Uh, he invited me to speak on his cruise. That's myself in the background with David in the foreground on, on the cruise as well, too. Uh, we had Pirates Day. So David here is dressed up as a pirate uh, as well as myself. So I have some fun uh, with, with David as well, too. Uh, my, my wife, uh, who, I, who I met in the Philippines, we're at the uh, money show. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance to see me at any of the trade shows. Here I was invited to speak at MIT, and I, I taught a class on uh, stock market mathematics. And let me tell you, it was a tough crowd, but uh, we did quite well. So that was interesting. Uh, I have workshops periodically around the country. This is the one in Bradenton, uh, Florida. And when you get a cake from, from your followers, you're doing something right. So there's a picture of a magenta cake. And this is one in Los Angeles. I've done them in Toronto. We've done them, well, basically, you know, down and down in Central America, Florida, Las Vegas as well, too. And here's one at the Money Show and World Expo, I think, uh, Traders Expo Money Show. So this one is in Las Vegas as well, too. Now, why do I show you a picture like this from the Philippines? Um, I, I have fun. Now, it looks like a lot more fun, but uh, I, I am not alone as being a guy there. We're actually all guys in that picture. So uh, there, there's a fun part of my life. Uh, there I'm standing with a, a Tarshir, which is indigenous to uh, the island of Bahal in the Philippines, uh, the world's smallest primate. And here's a little bit larger animal. I'm swimming next to a whale shark where you get to see about half the half the mouth of it. That was about a 60-foot whale shark. So I do this all the time while I'm trading. And, and my wife, Beth, uh, we were celebrating Sinulog. And for those who know about that's probably the major holiday in the Philippines. And, and now I just do a little bit of sailing on the boat, and there's the captain of my boat there. So I, I took a minute just to explain who I am, and life can be good if you let it. So let's take a look now at the software. And there we go. Momentum. Let me get my questions here. I'm going to ask you a first question. 
Tell me one thing you look for. Tell me one thing that you look for when you're, when you're trying to find a stock with momentum. And feel free to type something in, but why am I focusing on momentum? Can you think of a better starting point when a stock has got early momentum? When it's just starting out and it's getting ready to burst? That's a very good situation to be in. Now myself, uh, I am an option trader. I do probably 80% calls. I do some spread trading. Uh, I'll do some puts as well too. So I, I see the questions. What, what one thing do you look for uh, to tell, tell yourself if a stock has got momentum? Okay. So I'll just give you about 15 seconds to think about it. Feel free to type in a reply. Yeah, well, one of the things is, is um, price. I, I agree with that. And actually, if you look up in the dictionary, uh, momentum, they're looking for the change of price. So here's an example of a stock stock XYZ and a month ago the stock price is at 100 and today's date the stock price is at 110 so that's a 10 percent gain if you were to analyze it uh, to annualize it that's about 120 percent annualized growth rate um, you know some say that stock got Here's what we do. First of all, we have a proprietary magenta channel. That's the three lines, that red, magenta, and green line that, uh, that's not linear regression. Linear regression does not always have equal outliers above and below the channel. It is very different than linear regression. And it always has 10% outliers above and below the channel. And it's designed to help me determine several things. One of them is the overbought and oversold. So if a stock is linear, that's a qualifier. If a stock is linear, the Magenta channel will do a very good job of trying to find the overbought and oversold. And it can find stocks that have a good wave channel that we see in this picture here. Okay. Um, give me a why if you understand that magenta channel. Just uh, just type in. I just want to see the replies that I get. Okay, so text in a why here. And. Oh, maybe it's at the top. That's maybe down 1034. So let me just double check on the questions here. So I'm just going to hold for a minute to make sure that uh, I'm getting the questions active. Uh, on the magenta channel, uh, a little bit different than the linear regression. Do you see that magenta channel on my screen? I, I'm just trying to give me a why and reply. And I'm not seeing anything. And I have the questions in front of me. Well, uh, I'll let, I'll keep plugging away. And, um, but uh, I'm not seeing any replies. Yeah, I've scrolled down and I've got 1034. Thank you. I've got 1034 is the last reply. One reply and before that's 1019. And on the recommended column. 
Okay, let me just do this real quick and we'll move on. Yeah, I've done webinars for nine years and this is something new. Yeah, everybody is replying to me and I just want to ask, uh, you said click on the record column or the recommend column. Okay, I see it there. Ha, huh, there we go. Thank you very much. That, much better. I, I love getting replies. Thank you, host. You, you are kind and a scholar. Okay, so let's move on. So we see this um, magenta channel here. Yeah, I, I'm all set. I've got all the questions now. You've got you. it. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so one of the things we also measure is the AGR, which is an annualized growth rate. Now we measure the, the channel itself. We don't measure the price. So here the price is 100, and here it is at 110. So this actually has an annualized growth rate of 120%. Annualized, so in a month it would be 10%, you know, divided by 12, and that makes sense, 100 to 110 right here. We always put it in terms of annualized growth rate because if the stock is gone for 20 days or 50 days or 12 days, will have a common variable and that's the AGR here. So what that means that if the stock here is a hundred dollars, right, that uh, 12 months from now, right, the stock will be two hundred and twenty dollars. One ten, excuse me, one hundred plus one ten, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, one hundred dollars plus one twenty which would be two twenty right there. So that's what the AGR is. Now notice too, we measure the magenta channel. What happens if we had a stock like right here? We measured it here and we measured it here. Well, you can see there's not much difference because you're measuring overbought here and oversold here. So you, uh, uh, so the magenta channel takes that into consideration. So you know. It, you want to get the best true growth rate. Now, why am I so finicky about looking at growth rates? Well, if I can analyze and take a look at each channel of all 10,000 symbols, and I can find 30 or 40 of them that are growing, <coughs> and which ones are growing the fastest, then I can have a pool of stocks to look at that they're currently growing now. And why would you ever want to bet, pay, place money on a stock that is going sideways? So why not have a pool of stocks that you can have in your search engine that are growing? So that's why we measure the AGR. Anything that I can quantitate, I, I can put into my search engine. Now the next thing we do is that we look to see how a stock gets from point A to point B. So if you take this blue wave line and superimpose it on top of the stock price, that's a representation of how that stock is moving. Now we have a mathematical formula that is the definitive mathematical formula for finding how linear a, a set of data is or stock prices. It is <coughs> a coefficient correlation, but what we do, it's on a scale of 1.0 all the way down to zero with the highest numbers being more linear. So this one is an example of a linear 0.95, very straight. Why do I care if a stock has gone from point A, $100, to point B, $110, in a very straight path? What a stock has done in the past is a good representation of what it can do in the future. Why would you expect the stock to suddenly change directions the minute you put money on it and hope that it's going to change directions? Why not let it continue what it's doing and make money that way? So, and we have another variable over here, the range. How fat is this channel? 
and, and if you want to make money on an oversold to overbought, then the range is very important as well too. So if you look at slide A, from one hundred dollars to one ten, somebody might say that that is momentum. If you look at stock B, where we look at the AGR, we look at the overbought and oversold position, we look at the path, right, and uh, see if it's linear or not, and then we look at the range. We have four specific variables that we look at. Okay, so. Uh, I, I believe we have a definitive way uh, of defining momentum. Okay? Now, can anybody else tell me what one other thing that you would like to see before you get into this stock? The stock is setting up nicely. Right? It's got good AGR. It's very linear. It's at the bottom of the channel. What, yeah, what other thing uh, in the stock market would you like to see? Feel free to, now that I can see your questions, feel free to give me a, um, a guess, a recommendation. Fundamental news, yeah, yep. Yeah. you like to see some volume? Yeah, I, I, I that, that's good. Volume's important, we show it on our charts. What if we did this? Let's add seasonality to it. Now, what in the world is seasonality? If you look at a stock, why does Apple Computer go up, let's say, uh, uh, the week of October 10th, right? Why does Netflix, right, on quarter one uh, take off, uh, especially around earnings, right, in January? Well, January is the first quarter that shows what they've done in the winter months. People don't watch as many movies during the summer months, and so they're going to have their best earnings always in January. Apple, uh, 40 days before Christmas, they come out with the uh, uh, Christmas launch of, of all the commercials. They do a product release. Apple typically will go up. So gold does different things than gas does. So each stock has its own seasonality, and we represent it by a 10-year gold line and a five-year green line. So this, this gold or yellow line here is a composite average by percentage of each of the last 10 years. Okay? And so the green line is the last five years. Why do we show green? Because the last five years has more weight to it. Yeah. So what, what's taken place in the last five years, I think, is more important than what's taken place in years six through ten. So here's our yellow line, and here's our green line. And we can see that it basically followed what we predicted along the same path as what the stock has done over the last month. Okay? And then we, we can actually press a button. I'll, I'll show it to you in just a minute on Magenta, and we'll find the best upcoming trade. Let's say we press the button and it found one. The best upcoming trade is, let's say, today's date. And it goes for about two weeks. And in that time period, each year it has gone up. It is 10 and 0 for all 10 years. I have them listed over here from 2016 to 2007. And it shows you the percentage that it went up. And it has a 10 and 0 record at 15.7%. Now just think about that. We see with today's date, if you look over the last month, this looks interesting. It's going up at 120%. It's got a nice wave channel to it. Uh, it, it is uh, low in the channel. Everything looks good, but that's over the last month. Now let's look at a different set of data over the last 10 years. If you look at over the last 10 years, and you can see that it's gone up 10 years in a row, and if you look at it even more detailed, 2016, 21%, 19%, 17%, lately it's done even better. There are no guarantees, but your probability of success goes up dramatically if your 10-year data matches 
your last month. That's an important statement because everybody looks at just one set of data. They look at what's happened over the last current trend. They don't combine that and, and look at the, what happened over the last 10 years. And if they both tell you it's a good stock to get in, a great stock to get in, your probability of success goes up dramatically. Let me just give me a show of 1 to 10 how you agree or disagree with that statement. Yeah, let's state it again. A 5 means that you're, man, you're come see, come saw. 10 you agree, 9 you agree strongly, 1 that you don't. If your last current trend tells you to go up, so you look at your last 30, 40 pieces of data, and that matches your seasonality, which is 10 and 0, telling you to go up. The fact that you got two different sets of data telling you to go up, your results, your probability uh, of success is increased. So, yeah, I, I think that's a pretty logical statement. I concur. So, um, let, let's just take a look at the real world. Let's open up the software and uh, we'll escape these slides here for a second. Okay, what we're looking at is Magenta Software, or once again, it is cloud-based. You don't load any of the data. It doesn't matter if you're on Mac or PC. It, it doesn't matter what computer you're on just one at a time. And what we have is an end of day chart, end of day candles, with today's day being in the middle. Here's the red line for today's date. Six months in the past, six months into the future. We have the magenta channel on there with the three lines, the red, magenta, and the green line. And that starts around mid-April, goes through until 2018. And a green and a yellow line of our seasonality. MACD down here, we have the EMA superimposed also with volume and these gray are the earnings dot. Hopefully I haven't confused you with too much information but I've tried to keep it simple but important by superimposing seasonality on top of the magenta channel. Is this a good time period according to seasonality to get into FOLD. Would you say this is a good time period to get into FOLD according to the yellow and green lines under the seasonality? Yes, I concur. Right? And we can see how these lines are going up. Okay? Yeah, beautiful upward lines. Now if you go back and listen to my webinars over the last couple of weeks, fold is one of the symbols that we got into. We actually set on uh, the date was I think July 6th that we got in it two days before it gapped up and we got into an August call and we were very specific uh, about what we wanted. Now why would we get into it is that if you look at it beforehand, so we'll just zoom back to when we were looking at it, we saw a beautiful magenta channel growing at a rate of 275%. Linear at 0.92 and then the seasonality is supposed to start going up. Okay, And let me just take off a couple of things just so you can see that a little bit easier. I'm going to click off the EMA and then the 5 and the 10 year and then the volume. So here, here's the AGR, 275. We see that the magenta channel is going up. It just has to maintain that, and I'm going to go up over 1% a day. One of the things about our seasonality is, is that we don't use weekends and holidays. We use 252 trading days. We are unique. We started that, and we don't use any of the filler data on our charts, which really waters down a, a chart dramatically. Uh, so that's why we pick Fold. Okay, and once you get a 27% increase in the stock price, your option does very well. Okay, 
that same week, a couple of days before that. Now, I'm going to go over a couple of ones that we've done in the past, okay? and, and you can actually look at my webinars and see exactly what I said about recommending these trades, and then we're going to pick up some new ones after that. On Hertz, wouldn't you love to have been part of a group that said, please, please, please get into Hertz? What we did on this, on this day is that we presented our group with 10 symbols that we thought were very, very interesting. I looked them up, did the presentation, and I had the audience and the audience was people who, you know, been with Magenta for a while. It was a special workshop. And they recommended if they were going to get into any trade, Hertz would have been the number one out of my group of 10. And it was back here on July 11th. It went up the next day 5%, another day 15%. And so we've basically gone from $12, it was a little bit under $12, up here over to $16.60, you know. So $4.60 change on a $12 stock. And we did the options, right? We actually did the August 12, so a very simple one right there. So, um, I can teach and I can have the best software on the planet, but if I don't take the reins and show you what trades I am doing using the software that I wrote, who's going to do it? I've got confidence in this stuff and it has served me well uh, since 2011. There, so and companies come and go but if you can continue to have people tune into your webinars year after year month after month something is going well so here's another trick <coughs> Toronto Dominion this is a fun one now this one I call a slow and steady here's our chart and we've been in Toronto Dominion for a couple of weeks now. But look at the change of directions here. Now, why did we get into this one? What, what are our steps for finding them? I'm going to show you the screen here in a minute. But you'll notice down here in the MACD, do you see the crossover of the blue above the red? So the crossover happened here. Followed by the EMA crossover a few days later. And that's logical. Use the MACD is a precursor to the EMA. So I like that. And then we verified it with the Magenta channel that the stock price was actually going up also. So there's a, it's a three-step process to go out there and qualify for what we call a Magenta early up. A Magenta early up is trying to find the stocks early that have momentum. Yeah, the options were, um, like Hertz is up over 300%. Uh, I got out of fold at 210%. Um, if somebody's asking me about the options, I'm still in Hertz. You know, so uh, I haven't looked at it today, but I, I told people two days ago, I, I'm staying in Hertz and I'm going to let it go right there. So uh, on my last webinar. So here is Toronto Dominion. Now let me take off the volume. We'll remove the EMA. How about a double bottom? Do you guys like double bottoms? That's pretty good confirmation as far as support goes, correct? The magenta channel is very similar to a double bottom but the magenta channel has a slope to it. So if a stock is going up, 
there's going to be naturally the whole reason why candlesticks were devised right, was because there's an overbought they can, people can't settle on a price so if you think about it if a stock is rising is not the red line a sloping support here it hits it once twice three times four times for five days five times for five days six times seven times it's hit that magenta line that hard bottom of that red line seven times now the slope is 68 percent so you have to do something pretty close to at the money but you know that's a pretty consistent one so when we talked about this two weeks ago that's what he said, you know, it's 68% annualized growth rate, do it at the money, just let it go, it won't flame out, very, very simple stock, okay? Now, look, watch this one. This is a very cool one. Three months ago, we were in Weight Watchers. It came up on our magenta early up. You see our crossover here, we have a crossover here, and back in April, we saw that the actual stock price was going up. So here's the crossovers on both the EMA and the MACD, and we can see the slope. So let's draw it from the MACD forward. I'm just going to zoom in. Let's look at that magenta channel. Somebody tell me what the AGR is, the annualized growth rate, and for how many days? See if you can put both of them on one text. How many days are we looking at, and what is the AGR, the annualized growth rate? Yeah, 473. And uh, that's almost 40% a month. And our number of days here, actually, this 123, that's something else. The days up here are out here at the top, 78 days. Thanks, John. And, and so for 78 days, for almost four months, WTW Weight Watchers International has been grown at a rate annualized at 473%. It's gone from $15 to over $36. My goodness. Think of what the options would have paid out. And we found this in the screen, which I'm getting ready to show you. Well, let's go ahead and do that now. Actually, I didn't do it the full time period. I, I did mine and got out of it at a uh, 3.1 times investment. And, and that's typically what we do in the options. We're looking for two and three times investment. I'm not looking for 10 times investment. Um, I, I don't need to take that risk. And uh, I have an option chain that actually tells me which option to get here. And that's a little bit more advanced for this class. But uh, we have it hooked up with uh, interday data. And it will actually tell you your return on investment for three different strikes and ten different, uh, three different expirations and ten different strikes. So if you pick the um, August monthly, uh, October, November, whatever ones that you did, it would give you a plus or minus five different strikes uh, and your return on investment. That's what the option chain does. Okay. Now, on Amazon, this is interesting. I see that it's going up. 
But what's the best time period to get into it? You can kind of uh, semi-quantitatively figure out by the shape of the lines, but we have a feature on Magenta called Variable Scanner. I press this button, and it shows you in red and green, green going up and red going down, the best time periods according to seasonality. So here's, if you want to write this down, here, if I put my cursor at this date here, on August 10th, all the way through 31 trading days through the 22nd of September, Amazon has gone up 10 straight years. And I can put this on 31 days to match the 31 days in the screener on this column, on the scanner. And if you look over to the left, you'll see the various percentages. And we'll get it so it's all 10 and 0. There it is. So that's what took place every single year. So is it going up now? Yeah, we got an earnings. If the earnings is adequate, if it's a decent earnings, it's got a green light to continue to go up. It's done it 10 years in a row. What's the rate of growth that it's doing now? And it looks like it's good, right? Looks can be deceiving. It depends upon the scale of how your charts are done. But now I can quantitatively see that the AGR is 154%. So if I stayed in it for one month, that's about a 14, you know, about a 14% growth. Just over that. In one month. Right? So three and a half percent a week. Can I make money on a stock that grows consistently three and a half percent a week? Does it do it and without surprises? Yes, it has over the last month. 0.97 is the linear. Look how tight that range is, 2%. Typically they're like 5 or 6%. This one's only 2%. It's very narrow, so it really doesn't matter if it's high or low in the channel. It's just going to continue to make money. And if you look in the past, is there any date in the past that you would have got into it over the last 17 days where if you would have bought a call or the stock where you would have lost money? No. Even if you bought it here, the very worst day, at uh, 1,006, it's now all the way up here at 1,052. Let's take a look at the screener. Now, I've got a lot of tools on here. Um, you know, I can, I can look at earnings. I can look at uh, seasonality. Just I just look at quarter three earnings, and, and I can sh see what it's done over the last ten years for quarter three. If I want to look at the last ten quarters, I, I can look at it that way too. Uh, we do a look on the pre and post as well for the earnings. So what what has this stock done? before or after the earnings. So we can do it by numbers, or I can do it by a graph. And you can see that there's a good run up all the way until earnings. Then afterwards, there's a little bit of negative reaction to it. So a, a lot of tools that I'm not gonna be able to take the time to show you everything. We have a calendar that shows you a great seasonality plays in the upcoming months. All you do is you just put it on the month and the year that you want. So if you were to put it on August in 2017 and just say get calendar, these are all the trades that are in green and red that have got great seasonality in the upcoming month. Uh, a beautiful tool to work with. My favorite tool, my favorite tool is I'm going to show you right now. This one kept me in the good graces. This tool has kept me in the good graces of my wife. If I can do that, then this is a good thing. My screener. Look how easy this is. Step one, hit the screener button. So far, so good. Pretty easy. 
Next, my favorite screen is a new screen that we've been doing is Magenta Early Up. This is to find Magenta Momentum Trades Early. Now, I don't want to look at all 10,000 symbols, so I, I can, I've got a bunch of different lists here I can do. Here's the one for variable scanning uh, that I put in, 1,696 symbols. I just say pick, and now everything else, I just leave it as it is. And I'm looking at a variety of features. Look at the features that come up. You know, you, you get to place the volume correlation. I'm not going to go over everything. But let's start here in the blue in the middle. There's the MACD. You notice that they're all blue. In order to be on this spreadsheet, you have to be blue over red, which means you're going up on the MACD. It crossed over 12 days ago. Crossed over the EMA eight days ago, so that's good. But how, is it truly going up? So there are those 12 days. How fast has it gone up? An annual growth rate of 121%, or about 11% a month. I know it's only for 12 days. For the EMA, it's been 93 is the annualized growth rate. Has it gone very straight? Yeah, look at this. The MACD linear for those 12 days is 0.96. The EMA is 0.9. Is there any seasonality to Apple? Yes. You see the green, green, green? For the upcoming 20 days, is it green or red for the from today's date to the next 20 days? Green. For the next 40 days, green. Next 60 days, green. That's an interesting pick. Now I can sort. This is a cool thing. So if I want to look at the MACD rates and find the best, why not? There's some that are growing too fast. We had Netflix on here for the last couple of weeks, and it shot up because of uh, a gap. AXL. Here, here's NRG. 10 and 10, 427. Here's our Hertz. Now we've Look how long we've had Hertz on here for. 39 days and 19 days. Now we got into it about 15 days ago, and it does it has done extremely well. Look what it's done over the last 19 days: 659% annualized growth rate, about 60% a month. Right? 15% a week. My goodness! And I was on a sheet. FCX is interesting. Excel is interesting, and I can keep on going. Boeing. Boeing was on our list, and once again, it got shot up because of earnings as well, too. Now, I, I can sort by a variety of other reasons. Here's NTAP. I can also sort by MACD linear. Here's um, Hewitt-Packard. 12 and 8, 12 days ago, it... it Change directions on the MACD. It crossed over also in the EMA four days after that, and it's got a fairly good 163 and 147, and it's green green as well on that. Here's TD Amer excuse me, Toronto Dominion, MSCS. So let's just take a look at MSCS. 13 and 10. I like it when the MACD is about three, two or three days, four days ahead of the EMA. It's a slow scalloping change of directions. That's good. 200, 176, that's good. So that's green, green, green. Yeah, I would look at that one. So if I want to take a look at MSE, I just click on the symbol here. So now we have um, MSCC. Now this is going up, and it's actually passed some resistance. See, it broke through that. Seasonality has continued to go up. How fast is it rising? So I look at where it changed directions. I see the MACD has changed. Here's the crossover of the MACD. Here's the crossover of the EMA. The stock price is truly going up. What's the numbers? 244.99. 1.00 is a perfectly straight line. Zero would be a buckshot, and 0.8 would be a, a decent current trend. Below 0.8, it's moving too much. 
you don't have to completely understand linear, but all you need to know, the closer it is to 1.00, the less surprises you've had in the past. If you don't have surprises in the past, is it possible the next two weeks will also be linear? Yes, it is. Now, I understand that I've taken the last nine years and put some pretty sophisticated mathematics behind the pictures. Our seasonality is world class where nobody touches our features. We're the first to come up with 252 trading days. Uh, our, our earning seasonality is phenomenal. Um, it, it is. Uh, we can look at any time period with our cursor uh, of upcoming. So if I want to look from here to here, I can change the dates on our scanner and put the cursor at the starting point. So you got unlimited information you can get from seasonality. Okay? And our linear, nobody else does it like we do on linear. It is a mathematical formula that is perfect for defining stocks that are straight line. Why do I like stocks that are relatively straight? Because I just don't like surprises. And then the range is good. You need to know that for the overbought, oversold as well too. So there's a lot of math going on in this picture, but is it understandable? I see that the seasonality is going up. It's matching the magenta channel that I extend into the future. right? Magenta channel has equal outliers above and below it, and that magenta line is not the middle line, it's a median line. And that's the line that's most commonly where it's going to project, hence the name of the company, Magenta Trader, right there. Do you understand this picture on this very first lesson? Is it comprehensible where you, you feel you get the general idea why this stock is good. Feel free to give me a reply. <laughs> Thanks, Sandra. Now, thanks, Jadish. Very good. Um, there, there's a reason why we've been successful. Thanks, John. We, we've got a number of people that uh, follow Magenta now, and so uh, when they take time out to see a, kind of a sales presentation, um, you, you know that they're, <laughs> they're just not getting enough webinars. We got five webinars or so. Uh, let me just go to our website here. On our website, what we have is how to a video. So if you want to learn how to sign up, you can watch the video. You can then register if you've paid. You can then register for it immediately. It, it, you don't have to wait for me. You can do it at 2 o'clock in the morning. You can just start to trade by hitting the trade button. We have some referral things. We do some work with some uh, brokerage companies. And we have some various specials here. And some comments from people. Uh, I've got a five-step process on trading. And you can read about that as well, too. There, if you want to launch a software, we've got uh, different news updates, webinars. If you click on the webinars, you can watch the regular webinars. Here's our calendar that you can click on to. Now, the Web 99, we've got three different Web 99 coaches. And we also have a, a, a fourth coach. That's under Web 99. So you can buy the software. You can buy access to the coaches. And 
if you looked on the calendar, Web99 Wally, we actually have a uh, Web99 Sue, Web99, I do a one as well too. And then we have a, uh, a special Moxie webinar that we do on Tuesdays. And uh, so we're doing about five or six webinars e each week. You notice, anybody recognize, anybody want to take a guess of Wally's last name here? And I will tell you that I got an email from John, and John has been with me for about five years. And he's finally turned the corner on trading, but he still trades pretty small. And he's getting a little braver, and he sent me an email, and he says he watched this Web99 Wally a couple of weeks ago, and I think it was NVIDIA, and uh, he made 2800 bucks. For him, that was his best trade that he's ever done. So anybody want to guess Wally's last name? Yeah, it was the first speaker. I can testify what Wally gave you in the presentation is dead on. I, I've, I liked him so much, I asked him to partner with us and if he could give our people webinars once a week. Yes, sir, Mr. Wally Olapad. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, Sue has been with us, uh, Web99 Sue, she's been with us. And if you listen to Sue, and that's all you do is listen to one of her webinars, you will be addicted. She is positive. She's a moneymaker. She loves the MACD. They call her the MACD queen. And she knows MACD better than anybody else on the planet. And that's a very strong statement. But she just does it week after week after week. And she's been doing it for me for, I've known her for nine, ten years now. She's been doing webinars for me for five years. So, uh, something's going on, and then I'll, I also add in a special webinar too. So that's Web 99. Okay, and, and if you see, if you drop down to our purchase page, now do not get thrown off by the original money that people paid for this. Okay, I have a, a much simpler way of getting in, but uh, for years. Uh, we charge $3,500 for the software, and if you come down here, it's $500 a year or $50 a month for the data. And then we have $99 a month for the Web99 coaches. So if you want to add up how much that is for just one year's worth of uh, software and Web99 coaches, you know, that's... Five thousand, you know, six thousand bucks, right there. So what we have is a special going on. See this button where it says Web ninety nine? It says buy now. It's ninety nine dollars a month U.S. So what's that? About three hundred dollars Canadian. Three hundred and ten dollars. I, I don't know the exchange rate, but from what my customers tell me. Yeah, we also have TSX and, and you know Toronto Exchange as well too. But um, if you do the purchase here by the end of the month, I'll give you time to watch my webinars. If you make the purchase by the end of the month, you will get access to all of our coaches. I also do a training webinar every week. I think you really need to be trained right, and I, I, I do it every week. And I have most of our audience comes back over and over again for training because I cover different points. So let's take a look at the list of things that you get. And how you doing? I hear noise in the background. We are making progress here. So here's the thing. If you purchase 
the web 99 for $99 which I showed you you get the software you get the data you get the web 99 webinars and then you get my training webinars and the special is good through the end of the end of the month and that's grandfathered in oh, okay Oh, 1215. Okay. Oh, it, it, yeah, it's twelve thirty. Yeah, we have ten minutes left. Okay, I got, I, I got, I thought it was twelve thirty. Okay, my apologies. I was just reading some messages here from Traders Talk Live. Okay, my apologies. So we have uh, about nine minutes to go before we change over. Okay. Yeah, so just give me a why that we're I'm still up up live. Yeah, uh, thanks. We're we're good to go. So there's a special, and so if I come back over to our website, it's just the one at the very top under MagentaTrader.com. Now one of the things that I do also is after the 30 days. If you are not 100% convinced that this is exactly what you want, send me an email, call, text, whatever that you want, and I do 100% return of your money. So your risk is that you're tying up $99 for one month. I do that because I don't like bad press. If somebody, it's just not for them, and I return their money, they're happy. I, I don't care what reason you have. You can make a ton of money and not have one good reason why you want out of it. I don't care. That's the way it works here. And it's on every one of our products. No, there's no server because we have a server right here. That's what I call a data and server feed. That's included as well too. So typically without the special we have a $50 a month data server feed. And um, uh, we're making a very simple special where the Web 99 purchase, if you're part of this webinar, you know, I, I check that. And if you decide to do it, all you have to do is if you watch this video, and the video will explain, let me scroll up to the top, it will explain a couple of things for you. But it'll then tell you to register. You put in a six character username, six character password, fill out the other information, and, and then you all you have to do now is hit the trade button. See this trade button? Or the software button. Either way you can get in. Type in your username and password. And you're you've launched. And so what will come up is a blank screen. And all you have to do is just type in a symbol up here at the top and see this max button? Yeah, there's videos on how to use it. You can come to the training webinars. So if I zoom in and if I want to go back to my default screen, I just hit this max button in the top left hand corner and it just takes you back to the starting point. So if you do it at 2 o'clock in the morning, you make the purchase then you are automatically put on the list that you can get a username and password under registration. You don't have to wait 24 hours or anything for my OK. It's automatic on the registration. I need that automation because I'm too busy sailing. I, I trade about five hours out of the week. I, I do these webinars. And, and so I, I like to have fun. So we have a completely automated system. We've been doing it like that for some years now, and uh, it, it makes life very easy for me. I, I do these occasional webinars. I, I make some money trading. 
and the rest of my life I, I go out and have fun. Does it include software and usage? Yes. Any other questions? We got uh, about four or five minutes, and uh, if you have a question about a symbol, I could answer that too. If you have a question about me personally or about the software, I will be more than happy to share. Uh, my success story, I have one guy who was a teacher, retired teacher. He came to the Money Show in November, and him and his wife met both teachers, and they put their money together, and they put together a $100,000 trading account. They had never traded before in their life. And Peter came to me in November and says, you look like the best people at the show. I like you. I uh, met you in person. I'd like to buy your software. Stroke the check for $3,500. And uh, now he's ready to make a trade. I had recommended a trade to the entire group four, four times. On the third time that I recommended it, he took it. He didn't know about money, uh, allocation, and risk, and all that stuff. So he put 10% of his account on his very first trade, his very first call. Yeah. And it was an earnings play, but we also bought uh, calls and puts beforehand. He bought it about a week beforehand before the volatility was too bad. And the stock went from 100 to 148 on a 115 call. We did because the earnings were coming out. We, we did a 115 call on a weekly. So it's coming out on Thursday, so you got one day to make 15%. And it made 48%. Well, when he woke up in the morning, Peter, oh, yeah, I got two minutes, two minutes. Peter looked at his account and says, oh my goodness. His wife cooking breakfast, what's the matter? It's our account, our trading account. Is it all gone, she asked? No, I've got an extra $220,000 sitting in our account. Something's got to be wrong. No, it wasn't. He asked his wife, well, what should I do? Derek says you're supposed to get in. I mean, you're supposed to stay in for two or three more days. She says, not this polite, heck with Derek, get out. So she gets, he gets out. He would have gone up to about 300000 if he would have stayed in, but they didn't care. And I got a call from them after she bought a car, a Buick. They took their entire kids, their grandchildren, everything to a Disney World cruise and vacation. And I saw her in the next workshop, and she expressed her thanks. Now, her husband did it, but it was part of Magenta. Uh, the data feeds, yeah, the data feeds included with this. Right? So you don't have to pay for the data feeds. Uh, and it's all automatically downloaded about a half hour after the webinar. How many good calls and option trades comes up a month? Well, one week we looked at about 30 different trades and we recommended nine trades in one week. Now, that was a pretty intense week, what I call a boot camp, okay? But we saw nine trades, right? And fold and TD. And, and here's another one look at this trade. Look at this. There it is. It's got a double bottom to it, A-A-O-L. Uh, this trade came up. It's before the earnings. We look at it here, too. The MACD crossed over. The EMA crossed over. And we'll take off this little tail. And this one's still good. And look at the AGR in this one. That's 4% a day, 252 trading days, 1,019. What, what a beautiful – these things are out here just for finding them. They're, 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 our search engine is designed to find trades like this. Okay, having said that, I'm all done.